and I have one question for you. How many of you downloaded the environment? Okay. If you are done, that is good. Yeah. Okay. That, did you set up or not? Okay. If you have not set up or if you have done, that's not a problem. I will let you know how to do that today. Okay. See here. Whenever you want to set up the new VM. Okay. The first thing you will do is you will download the files. Hope you all have downloaded them. Okay. And from LCS, you might have downloaded some 16 parts. Is that right? I don't remember how many parts are there. I think there yes. will be around 16 parts. Okay. Let me show you that. You can see you have 1 to 11. Sorry, 11 here. Part 1 to part 11. Okay. Now, what you need to do is you have this part 1 now. You need to double click on this part 1. And once you double click on this part 1, it will open a window for you. Click on the accept button. And then it will take you to the next page. Remember, you need to provide your destination folder, and this destination folder should have minimum of 130 GB. How much? Minimum of 130 GB. Okay. And then you need to click on next. It will extract. After extracting the information, you will find only one file finance and operations 10.0.13. Okay. 10.0.13 you are going to find this file so now the next step would be based on your configuration okay if you come to my configuration my configuration is a high-end configuration i have uh, you can see here it's uh, octa core that means eight core eight processors okay i have eight processors and it is a 24 gb ram so <coughs> it depends if you have 24 gb ram or 30 GB, then it will be faster, as you can see in my system. And if you have less configuration, there are two ways of setting this up. One is using the Hyper-V. How to set up using Hyper-V? Okay. If you click on the Start button, you can select Hyper-V Manager, and it will open this window for you, the Hyper-V Manager. And on this, you can see there are already two VMs. You need to create a new VM. Right click, click on the New button, and then Virtual Machine here select the next button you can give whatever the name you want okay i can say d365 10.0.13 click on the next button <clears throat> click on the next button here you can give the startup memory give at least 4 gb click on the next okay use dynamic memory click select this because if you use dynamic memory now it will be increased to some 16 gb or something like that okay you can set it up how much you want to increase later on Click on the next button. Here you need to select the networking. You will have the default or whatever the switch you have. You need to select that. Please remember, most of the times people will do mistake here. If you don't select anything, you would not be able to connect to the network on the VM and you would not be able to work on Dynamics 365. So you need to select the network here. And the next step is virtual hard disk. Here you need to use an existing hard disk. And then click on the browse button this drive select this click on open whatever the extracted vhd is there you need to select that and then you need to click on open then click on the next button you are done if you click on finish it will create a new virtual machine for you okay it will create a new virtual machine for you and then you need to right click and click on start button okay now actually it is running so you can you can't find it Okay, let me show you. Okay, I am closing this. I am turning this off. By default, your virtual machine will be in this state. So you need to right click and then click on the start button. Okay, the starting is succeeded. Now you need to click on connect. It will connect to your VM. You can see here it is connecting now. done it got connected and then here it will ask for the password by default the pass password is pass at the rate word one this is the password okay 
so you need to give the password this is the default password you can change it later on okay once you are done this is what you see and don't worry these folders are there but you will not find that folders on your environment on the desktop you will see only two few tools one is this one and this one admin user provisioning this is very important tool you need to right click on this tool for the first time click on run as administrator yes and then i told you about the on microsoft account you need to give that on microsoft account here please remember you need to give that on microsoft account here and then click on the submit but before submitting you need to check one more thing in the services you need to make sure that the batch management service and the sql services are up you can see microsoft dynamics ax batch management service okay this is responsible for running the batches this should be running and you will have a sql server this should be running if these services are running then only it will provision your user otherwise it will throw the error please remember okay the batch management service and the all sql server services should be in the running state then only it will provision the user okay so this is how we need to there is no workaround if you can pay money then only you can do that because the development environment will cost uh, if you take the least it's uh, somewhere around three thousand dollars or something like that okay because the machine cost will be seven hundred dollars but you need to take the lcs subscription that subscription will cost more okay if you can take the lcs subscription and if you can uh, get the users then you can create you can link the environment with lcs whereas this environment you can't link okay so this is how we are going to provision the user so once the user provision is done you need to go to iis internet information services and here you need to check the aos service okay there will be a website called aos service this should be running okay and then you can click on this url this will open dynamics 365 and you need to provide your logon credentials to log on to the environment please remember these are the steps and let's say for example you don't have this one you don't have the good configuration you want to boot from the bhd you can also do that you can also boot from bhd for that you need to use a command called bcd boot and if anyone wants to boot from the bhd please ping me on whatsapp so that i will let you know how to do that okay please remember and this is how you need to set up the environment for dynamics 365 